Hi guys, welcome to another course about MrLopezClasses.com. This is our marine electricity course. This is, in my opinion, the most important course of this program. It's basically because everything is based on the electrical part. If you check my courses of gas and diesel, the fundamentals is on the electrical part. If you check the course of auxiliary systems, the fundamental is in the electrical part. All the classes, corrosion, a lot of electricity. The electrical classes are every day more and more important because uh, today the majority of the equipments, if you have an issue in a different type of equipment, engines, at the end of the day, the problem is an electric problem or electronic problem. This course is a, is a great course. Uh, in this course, we have a, in total 42 episodes. And this class is divided in two courses. One course for a basic electricity is basically DC current, the first class. And the second class is advanced electricity and advanced electricity is AC current. In the first class, in basic electricity, uh, we are going to cover eight chapters, the first eight chapters of this book. We are going to follow the marine electrical handbook. And uh, in this book, we are going to cover both courses, basic electricity and advanced electricity. And also, we are going to follow the ABYC Electrical Study Guide. What is the meaning of that? At the end of this class, you are ready to take the ABYC Electrical Certification. If you want to take the certification, you enter in the webpage of ABYC and you register like a member over there and you can take the certification that you want. This class is a good complement to take that certification. In basic electricity, we are going to cover the first eight chapters of the electrical book. In the first chapter, we are going to talk about the nature of matter, the fundamentals, the atomic explanation about the, the electrons and the flow of electrons. In the second chapter, we are going to explain what is the meaning of electrical current, how is measure the electrical current and how is the electrical current uh, in AC and DC. In chapter 3 we are going to talk about marine batteries. Three wonderful episodes uh, about the configuration of the batteries and the connection of the batteries in series and parallel, the study of the different type of batteries and uh, the, the procedure to verify if the batteries are in good conditions, what type of tools are recommended. This is a wonderful chapter with three episodes related only to marine batteries, how the, the, the battery banks, the configuration of the battery banks uh, for 12 volts, 24 volts, and uh, the connection of the switch selector. This is a great, great, great chapter. It's composed by three episodes. In the chapter four, we are going to talk about the conductors and the isolators. Ah, terminals, the, the gauge of the wire, we are going to learn the procedure to, uh, to calculate the gauge of the wire with the formula or using the table in the ABYC study guide, in the electrical study guide, we are going to use the table appropriated for AC and DC to calculate the gauge of the wire recommended for that particular circuit. Uh, this is uh, in the chapter number four. And, uh, the, the last episode is three episodes in the chapter number four. The last episode will be dedicated to the electrical measurement tools. And uh, we are going to learn the procedure to use the voltmeter, the ammeter, the ohmmeter, the clamp, uh, the, the battery load tester, um, uh, the battery load tester, and uh, the different uh, uh, specialized equipments like uh, the megometer, the megometer uh, used to check uh, the condition of the windings in motors and, uh, and generators, and uh, a lot of uh, electrical measurement tools 
is in, in the episode number three. The chapter number five is about the circuits. We are going to study and analyze the different type of circuits, series, parallel, arc, and combined circuit. How important are the circuits when you design uh, the connection, the wiring of an special equipment? It is uh, important installed in series or in parallel. What is the advantage of uh, a connection in series? Uh, what is the advantage of a connection in, a, in parallel? And uh, in what situation you need to combine both of them? This is in the chapter number five. In the chapter number six, we are going to be dedicated to the charging systems. The charging system, the relays, the solenoid, that's the first episode. The second one is about the switch selector and the ACR, um, the automatic charging relay. Uh, the episode number three is about the fundamentals of the alternators. We are going to try to understand the alternators. In the episode number five of the chapter six, we are going to talk about the cranking system. And we are going to do the wiring of uh, the cranking system, the star motor, uh, the ignition switch, and we are going to verify how is uh, the procedure to wire uh, that uh, uh, star motor. This is chapter number six. The chapter number seven is the configuration of the DC panel. Uh, it's uh, two episodes. The first one is uh, uh, the configuration of the battery bank, and uh, the second one is uh, the configuration of uh, the battery bank and the DC panel together, and a lot of tips, a lot of recommendations, uh, depending if the, the DC panel is for 12 volts, for 24, the connection of the gauge, uh, the connection of the, uh, the breaker, the switches, the fuses, wonderful, wonderful episode. The episode, uh, the chapter number eight, is about the dashboard, the connection of all the gauge in the dashboard, the oil pressure gauge, uh, the fuel uh, uh, the level gauge, uh, the temperature gauge, uh, the ignition switch, the tachometer, uh, all the instruments, volt meter and meter on the gauge uh, on the console. Uh, this is uh, an excellent uh, uh, episode. I am going to do the wiring of a boat completely, the DC part of the boat completely, all the elements uh, that you install in a small boat, only DC. We are going to do the diagram. We are going to do the wiring. It's cable by cable, connection by connection in a big white board and uh, I hope you enjoy that video and, uh, and uh, yeah in the in the this is the chapter number eight and uh, this is basically uh, the first class the course of uh, basic electricity uh, in the chapter number nine star the course number two advanced electricity in advanced electricity we are going to start with the AC current. We are going to analyze the different the sources of AC current that you have in your boat, one per one, the inverter, the generator, the short power, and uh, this is the ch chapter nine. In the chapter number 10, we have four episodes because it's bonding and lighting. Oh, this is uh, one of the chapters that we are going to repeat in other, other uh, books, in the book of uh, uh, corrosion, we are going to use a lot of uh, uh, concept related with the bonding system uh, and uh, also in diesel, in auxiliary system. This chapter is uh, is a great chapter. It's composed by four episodes. Uh, in the chapter 11 is uh, about the configuration of uh, the AC panel, the AC wiring. And uh, we are going to do the wiring for uh, a single phase uh, uh, panel and a double phase panel with connection of gauge, volt uh, meter and meter uh, it's a wonderful episode related with the wiring of a, an AC panel. Uh, in, the uh, in chapter number 12, we are going to continue with the configuration of, of uh, the AC panel. And uh, we are going to do uh, uh, all the wiring schematic and we are going to do troubleshoot on the AC panel. Uh, we are going to check uh, what happened if uh, the voltmeter is wrong, the ammeter is wrong, uh, what happened if this equi equipment is in short, troubleshoot. This is chapter 12. In chapter 13, we are going to study motors, motors, induction motors and transformers. And we are going to study the procedure uh, to reverse rotation in motors, AC and DC motors. And also we are going to study transformers and uh, how the transformers are used uh, to clean the signal, isolate the transformer, to increase the voltage in the output, step up transformer, to decrease the output of the transformer, step down, uh, this is uh, in chapter 13. Uh, in chapter 14, uh, this is uh, 
one of my best sellers is uh, generators and we are going to study the different type of marine generators uh, and there are uh, five episodes five episodes I love that uh, that uh, a, a group of uh, episodes that the chapter 14 dedicated to generators in the first one is the fundamental of the generators and the procedure to convert generators from 50 Hertz into 60 Hertz uh, this is episode number one episode number two is about the, the voltage regulator uh, the adjustment of the voltage regulator uh, how to use the megometer to verify the condition of the winding uh, and uh, the procedure to test all of those parts and uh, in episode number three is the procedure to install a, a marine generator in the boat the tips the recommendations uh, Especial in uh, the depending uh, if the generator is located below the water line, over the water line, if it's a diesel generator, if it's a gas generator. And uh, in the episode number four is troubleshooting. Ch troubleshoot with generators. This is the, the most difficult part uh, in the diagnosis of generators. And uh, we are going to, to play what happens if the output voltage is high, is low, if the frequency is high, is low, if uh, no uh, no no voltage at the output, what happens if the generator start and stop suddenly, what happens if the generator is running and suddenly over speed, a lot of uh, troubleshoot uh, about the real situation. According with my experience, I work a lot of years uh, dedicated only to generators and diesel engine for that reason. I consider that this is uh, the area where I am, I am strong. Uh, and the number five is, a, <laughs> is another wonderful wiring diagram. We are going to do the harness for a diesel engine or gas engine, the harness for a generator. We are going to do wire per wire, the harness, the schematic in a big white board. We are going to create the harness for a generator. Uh, another wonderful, wonderful, wonderful episode. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, this is uh, chapter 14. Chapter 15 is similar to the previous. It's dedicated to inverters. Inverters and UPS. Inverters. How the inverter works. The fundamental of the inverter. Uh, how the inverter uh, should be a wire in the boat. Uh, what is the procedure to connect the inverter. Uh, to The procedure to calculate the battery bank of, of, uh, for the inverter and the procedure to calculate the battery bank according with the capacity of the AC panel. Wow. This is a nice, nice, nice chapter. In the chapter 15 is, is related exclusive with inverters and how the inverters work, how the inverters are designed uh, and the procedure to select the inverters appropriate uh, per each specific boat. And uh, in the chapter 16, uh, 17 and 18, we are going to talk about the solar system the wind, uh, the wind uh, uh, mills, uh, yeah, is uh, uh, sources of energy, uh, renewable uh, sources of uh, energy, solar and uh, wind power. And uh, in chapter 19, we are going to talk about other uh, topic that I love. It is hybrid boats. Uh, it's two episodes about the fundamentals of uh, uh, the hybrid boats, and uh, the second one is. Uh, in the second part of that of that episode uh, is uh, the procedure to select the appropriate hybrid system uh, for that particular boat and uh, different type of tips and recommendations if you want to convert your actual gasoline power boat into hybrid or your actual diesel power boat into hybrid uh, we are going to study uh, the factors the fundamental factors use it to take the decision about what electric motor is better or what hybrid solution is more recommended for my boat and uh, yeah in chapter 19 we finish this wonderful book and uh, those uh, courses basic and advanced electricity um, i hope you enjoy these classes uh, two classes uh, 42 videos a lot of uh, tips recommendations and uh, at the end of uh, this class, you will be ready to take the ABYC electrical certification. I hope you enjoy this course. I hope that uh, this uh, couple of courses uh, be useful in your career.